What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. And today we have the Airliners International 2023 welcome reception for you all. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started everybody. Welcome everybody to the welcome reception for Airliners International 2023. This was a really fun event during AI 2023 with some really awesome just memories, references, and memes to go over. And I'm really excited to talk about this and I hope all of you are as well. What a fun event this was. Now let's just go ahead and dive right into it everybody so if you're unaware for airliners international there's always an annual welcome reception on the thursday evening of the convention so the welcome reception is pretty much just a gathering of all of us aviation enthusiasts that attend the convention and the purpose of this is just to get to catch up with everybody when you're in the moment it's kind of tough to get to see everybody during the uh in the ballroom and just during all the activities during airliners so that the objective of this event is a time to get to catch up with everybody and try to find everybody so that's exactly what we did and i'm really excited to talk about the 2023 event that we had as it was an absolute blast so let's go ahead and get started so this event was hosted at harvest hall which is a food venue in grapevine texas which is on the northwest side of the dallas Fort Worth international airport so hence why the buses are here since we this was taking place obviously at the grand hyatt or not the grand hyatt i'm sorry the hyatt regency we obviously had to get shuttled over there to the grapevine so that's exactly what we did and this is where the references begin so here's the bus that we used it was really nice i think they had three shuttle buses which was certainly adequate i think there was probably about maybe 60 to 100 of us. I'm not exactly sure what the full number was, but it was certainly a really nice number and it was absolutely awesome. So here we go into uh, Harvest Hall. So here's the first picture. The second one, uh, I ended up doing a bus assessment, which I'll play that clip here in a minute, which was funny, but I took a picture so you could see the leg room. I was kind of trying to treat it like a trip port just for fun. So you can see the leg room here and it was certainly adequate for the time. So that was certainly cool to see. And here's a nice picture of the bus and there's JJ right there filming myself. So I had to get a picture of him. And as you can see, uh, Gavin trying to make a reference right Right there down there on the left side of the screen so that was certainly quite nice i think andrew's even back there you can see him about four rows back there so that was really funny so right here i'm going to insert the clip of the bus assessment so pretty much what i did just like a trip port i gave the bus a full assessment i thought it was pretty interesting so i'll play that all so you can see that right here uh it was pretty interesting to say the least we're on the bus yes sir i love buses me too buses are one of my favorite forms of transportation Alrighty, everybody, welcome to Harvest Hall. I don't have a bunch of good pictures, so I'll try to insert a couple better outside ones so you can see what's going on here. But as you can see, here's Gavin right here. He's certainly making a reference, ROC Aviation. Uh, really great food venue, though, with many places to eat, which is exactly what you're going for during one of these events. So as you can see, Gavin's having a great time right here, and he's doing what he does best. So that was quite nice, to say the least, right there. He just, he makes it everywhere. There's no way to get around him. So here's yet another picture of him right here. Uh, he's a really silly guy. So his Delta shirt at least looks really good. So we have that going for him at all times. But this, uh, you, you're going to have to go, uh, go talk to him about it. I can't really give you much information on it. So Gavin, good job, dude. You're always finding a way to make a fool of yourself. And in all honesty, of course, though, Gavin's a great guy. We just love to find a way to... Uh, Get him in the spotlight, to say the least. And uh, JJ's also looking fantastic as well here with his North Central shirt. So it was really great to get to capture him. Here's story time number one. So this one's really ironic. So um, from last year's airliners in Chicago, you probably remember during all the spotting videos that we had at the Dave & Buster's parking garage where JJ Sprites uh, was spilt due to uh, AS Aviation kicking over with his shoe. Well, pretty similar here. It was um, Dom Alpine Aviation that actually knocked over JJ's Coke, which was uh, quite nice of him to do that. So I don't know what it is about JJ and his drinks getting knocked over, but this was the second consecutive year that this happened. And it was uh, quite impressive to say the least so what will happen next year we'll have to see it's gonna happen i don't know who's gonna do it i personally think it's gonna be gavin with a uh, pepsi next time but we're gonna have to see what happens but glad to see that jj's surviving it out at least he was able to get a little bit of it going before alpine unfortunately uh ruined the uh ceremony there trying to avoid what happened in 2022 so we'll have to see gavin do it in 2024 but we'll have to see who does it but certainly uh, quite a story there it was over here in the tables as you'll see here in upcoming pictures so that was quite nice there to say the least 
Ethan just does what he does. Here's another picture of him looking absolutely fantastic there with his United shirt that he got in uh, Chicago in 2022. It's really cool to see how everybody's wearing an airline shirt, Gavin Delta, JJ North Central, now Ethan coming in with United. So that was a really nice component of uh, Airliners International, obviously. So glad to see Ethan looking really good. He's doing what he's doing and he's looking absolutely fantastic. So what can you say besides that? You're welcome at this point, but the food was really good in all seriousness. It was awesome. Uh, everybody had a great time. I think there was like three or four tables out there of all of us having a great time. So really great. Definitely we will have to go back sometime. Uh, we got a $15 gift card from Airliners International for uh, signing up for the welcome reception. So that certainly was very nice of them to do that. And it turned out really well. So ultimately a really great time. There was uh, plenty to do out there. It was a little hot, but wasn't too bad. I don't know why Ethan was wearing his sweater there, but... What can you do about it? Sometimes it happens to the best of us. What can I say? Actually, here's a really good picture right here. I'm glad I got this. So I was wondering like, why the heck I didn't get a really good picture? So here's a great picture of the outside venue. So these tables were where we were sitting at. Overall, really nice here, as you can see. Really nice architecture. This opened fairly recently, I believe, but they had a bunch of great food venues in there. An absolutely awesome place to eat if you're ever in that area, if you get done spotting at Founders or something like that. I can't recommend this venue enough as it's absolutely fantastic, to say the least, right here. And we were back at the Hyatt Regency, but before that happens, I have some more video clips that I'd like to insert here. As you're gonna see, Gavin made quite a reference here, so I'm gonna have to explain what happened afterwards, but you're gonna uh, watch this clip first, and then you'll kind of see what's going on. So I'll pause so you can watch this clip, but Gavin unfortunately comes up guilty once again, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Yeah, it was, it was a fun time, you know, crack some jokes and uh, Yeah. You're exactly right. Oh, look at the van, the van's here, holy crap. Hey, let's go. Uh, where's Chris? There he is, there he is. He is a legend. I got it. What's up, Gavin? Howdy. What would you like to talk about? Um, what did you think about the collectible shit today? I think I thought, to be honest, I thought it was really, really awesome. Um, as a first timer here, um, you know, you know, kind of a, kind of a uh, collector's paradise, if you will. Um, you know. Uh, a lot of lot of really awesome uh, retro stuff, new stuff. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, got some models, collectibles, all that stuff, fun stuff. You know, got uh, two more days of it, so yeah, it's just the beginning here. That's exactly right. Uh, Give me something special. American 321 from I, San Diego, California. No, Savannah. No, it's San Diego. No, that's Savannah, San Diego. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fly right over it's us, in, I think. Go look at the radar. No, I think that's no it's Savannah. Look, it's, you're look. on the wrong runway, you idiot. Look at the San Diego. No, see, see, look, it's San Diego. It's this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get the IQ. Hey. 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 She pretty. She pretty. She pretty. Yep. That is exactly it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, everybody, so as you saw right there, Gavin was making yet another reference. So what happened this time was that Gavin was looking over there on the uh, east runways, and he thought the American A321 that was coming in right on the west side of the airport, or 18 right, was coming in from Savannah, but that the flight that was actually landing on our side was San Diego, California. So I had to go to battle with him since I had flight radar on my phone, and then I ended up showing him, and as you can see there, he unfortunately was incorrect as the plane, the 175 on the other side of the airport was landing in from Savannah. So that was quite a nice reference. We're still gonna, we're probably gonna give him crap for that for a long time. Uh, of course, it's all uh, with uh, Lightheart as a uh we think Gavin's a great guy, of course, but it was just, uh, that was too good of a moment not to uh, remember for a very long time. So Gavin, good job once again, as you turned into, you're probably going to be on the thumbnail for that, uh, but he's done a really good job in his life. He just certainly deserves some etched attention because he's a great guy. So Gavin, good job on this video as you certainly made yourself front and center as you like to do as always. So you will see what he does next year. I'm sure that he'll come up with his own fair share of tricks. We'll have to see what he's able to do, but Gavin, really good job at Dallas, a really great effort, and he certainly made this video quite the talent show that it was speaking of the talent show let's forward over to this picture right here definitely check out that spotting video if you missed it, it was absolutely awesome with the ups 747 really great spotting video and i very much enjoyed putting that together so be sure to check that out as well so thank you for bearing and staying patient with me during these airlines international videos uh from july until october i was super busy and then over the last couple of weeks i've really been trying to prepare my trip report content so i could uh lead into more airliners content on a consistent basis so next up will probably be the 
uh, spotting meetup that we had on Friday evening. So looking forward to that. Then we'll probably go right forward with the day three vlog. And from there, who knows? Uh, we still have quite a bit of content to go. So I'm looking very forward to it. Uh, we have the DFW ramp tour and we also have some Friday activities too, which is going to be awesome. The uh, Saturday night banquet was awesome. So that will definitely be coming too. And we'll certainly have a full reflection. And of course, all the videos coming up for the 2023 convention, which will be taking place in the Kansas City area. So looking very forward to that. And I hope you all are as well. Really appreciate you watching today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite part of the welcome reception was, especially if you were there. It was so great to get to see everybody. And hopefully the pictures on the screen uh, got after and you could see what was going on there. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Roger of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love you do. My name is Roger of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Roger of Aviation is signing off.